Well, let's talk about cues. Imagine you work at a pizza delivery restaurant, and it's Friday night, so it's really busy. Phone calls and orders are coming in left and right. Now, if you think about it, there's two ways that you could respond to these orders. The first option, we'll call it the synchronous approach, would be an order comes in, you pick up the phone, you write down the order, you then immediately make the pizza, you go to your car, you deliver it to the customer, you drive back, and only at that point do you pick up the phone and answer the next call and the next order. So clearly it doesn't take a genius to realize that is not scalable or sustainable at all for a pizza delivery restaurant. But what if instead we chose a more asynchronous approach, so to speak? Now, the phone rings, you pick it up, you take the order, but now you don't make the pizza and you definitely don't deliver the pizza. Instead, you take that order and you throw it onto a stack of papers next to you. We'll call that a queue. So we had this new order, maybe a job is how you'd refer to it, and you throw the job on the queue. At this point, again, you're not gonna be the one to make the pizza and you won't deliver it, it's too busy. You need to get back to the customers as quickly as possible so you can move on to the next call. So who makes the pizza and who delivers it? Some other worker at the restaurant. They have a stack of jobs that need to be completed. So one by one, they pick up the paper, they look at the order, they make the pizza, and they deliver it. When they're done, they go on to the next job, and so on and so forth. Now the key thing to understand here is while they are working on these jobs, you are interacting with the customer as quickly as possible. In that first example, the customer, or the user, had to wait a long time for you to complete that job. But not anymore. You take their order, you throw it onto a queue, and you return to the customer as quickly as possible. All right, thanks so much. Within 15 minutes, you have your pizza, and you move on to the next customer. It's a simple enough example, but in a nutshell, that's what a queue is. Now in closing, a queue allows us to store and process any time-consuming task at a later date in the background. And again, we do this specifically to improve response times for the user. So in the next episode, let's learn how to dispatch your first job. <laughs>